Let's hop right to it. Let's Meow Meow is an 18 plus Pashojo game made by Yumitsu and translated here to America by G Collections. Let's Meow Meow is just what the name would have you believe. A shallow sex romp that only those who absolutely love cat girls will be able to enjoy. For those still interested, the ridiculously simplistic story is as follows. You're a college student named Ibuki who loves cats, and being a good-natured guy, always cares even for the strays. One night, the cat god appears to Ibuki in a dream to reward him for always being good to cats. What does Ibuki wish for? His very own cat girl, of course. To make a long story short, Ibuki receives a cat girl from the cat god. But due to various mishaps, a bunch of other half-animal girls come rushing into our world and straight into Ibuki's household. Soon enough, Ibuki has a zoo staying with him. There are five main girls for you to pursue. There's Mikan, the obedient cat girl whom you received as a gift from the cat god. Nanami, who is Ibuki's strong-willed childhood friend and the only straight-up human girl in the game. Hanabi, who is a troublemaking bunny girl. Shinju, who is a dog girl police officer of sorts, and Koboshi, who is, get this, a military robot cat girl. How's that for fetish overkill? The gameplay, if you can even call it that, is the most mindless sort that the shoujo games offer. Every now and then, a character selection screen like the one you see here will pop up, and depending on who you choose, depends on who the next couple of scenes will focus on. Choose the same girl over and over again to get her ending. Wow. Now that's complex gameplay, huh? While each of the girls have their own short little endings, the overarching scenario remains largely the same in spite of who you choose, and since the story isn't really any good to begin with, replaying it even to see all the girls' main endings can get pretty tiresome. With that said, at least Me Let's Meow Meow has a few things going for it. The art is modern and quite good, though the artist's style irked me a bit personally. The music isn't particularly good, but it does the job. The sound effects are fairly sparse, but place emphasis where they should. The voice acting is also passable, without really having any standouts among the cast. It also comes with all the features you'd expect nowadays. It comes with an auto mode that will scroll through the text automatically so that you won't get a repetitive strain injury from just pressing enter over and over and over again, just to make the story advance. You can also roll up on the mouse scroller to go back and read through the story dialogue that you've already seen. And then of course there's the handy dandy auto skip feature that will pass over any and all previously read dialogue. This is a savior when it comes to seeing all the endings, if you feel so inclined. So in summary, Let's Meow Meow is part of the problem. It simply isn't a quality Bishoujo game. It may appeal to the most hardcore of Catgirl fans out there, or those that just love their porn in electronic format. But anyone going in expecting any more than a cat girl, dog girl, bunny girl, robot cat girl, human girl porno is bound to be disappointed. 